The others have probably prepared Kodlak's funeral by now. Come up to the Sky Forge to pay your respects. Well, that didn't... We didn't come back on a light note, did we? I suppose it's a good day for it, isn't it? But... Eh, it's just going to... Take his time, I guess. So you can spend it on Can't say as I blame him. If it's food you need, hmm? ask for that instead. Never you mind that. I'll find a more charitable soul. That's what I thought. Interesting. <laughs> no vampires this time. Good. One is my limit for the week, I think. Even if he did save my life. For I love you. I love, love. Even as man, great power, cherishes. For he saw in us. Yep, that looks. Each of us, the future of Skyrim. Looks about right. I wonder if we'll be able to hear anything over Heimsker down there. <sighs> there All that for nothing. With the witches. Who will start? I'll do it. Before the ancient flame. We grieve. We, we grieve. grieve. At this loss, we, we weep. weep. For the fallen. We, we shout. shout. And for ourselves. We, we take, take our take leave. Our leave. His spirit is departed. Members of the Circle, let us withdraw to the Underforge to grieve our last together. Do you have the fragments of Ruthrad still? I do. I'll need to prepare them for mounting again. I return them with honor. Don't get too flowery on me, lass. Of course, I have a small favor to ask of you. There's another piece that Kodlak always kept close to himself. Would you go to his chambers and bring it back for me? I'm not sure I'm the best one to go through his things. You think I am? Of course I will. Thank you. I'll be here. We Greymanes got just as much to be proud of as them Battleborns. But you won't see us with our noses in the air, hmm? I was just thinking. You're the last... You're the first person who's called me last in a very long time. Mm-hmm. I ain't much for talking. Yeah. We done? I can tell. That was, uh... Let me show you the power of Talos, Not what I was expecting. That was kind of a shorter affair than... I was anticipating. I wonder if they're going to throw a wake for him later. Why me? You would think he'd ask a Yella or someone. I was going to say her skewer and then... And maybe that's why. I am wearing his old armor. Feel a bit strange being in here. Oh well. Hmm. 
Oh, would you look at that? It's the tip of the spear on the axe. I hate to do this, but... I don't know. Something about his memory. In my dreams, I see the line of Harbingers start with Iskramor. Each of them ascends to Sovngarde until we come to Terfig, who first turned us to the ways of the beast. Ooh. Then I see every next Harbinger turn away from Sovngarde and enter the hunting grounds of their own accord. It appears I have a choice. And at my side, a stranger I had not seen before. Interesting. Through the shadows of your Vasker, I saw a newcomer approach. It was this. So he dreamed about me. That's... interesting. I come of decent stock, he says, about... the skull. Although I suppose... someone whose father had the beast blood would be kind of... I like the smaller, quicker blades. Better at Yes, you're very with fond it. of saying that. You know I like hammers and axes. Aren't they slow? I can get in and out before you have one swing. Let's test that out sometime. That's what armor is for, Abbas. Ah, well. Kids. Well, I suppose that could be one reason that Jorlin wanted me to get it. The... Fragment. I... Think I'm the next oldest after Godlac. And perhaps after Jorlin. Hard to tell. With him calling me lass and whatnot. I was the newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the ropes. <laughs> Indeed. Not sure there's many ropes to show at this point. I feel like I should do something. Add something to it. I suppose restoring Ruth Wuthrad is. You're back. The best I can do. I have Colette's fragment. Thank you. Your shield siblings have withdrawn to the Underforge. I think they're waiting for you. Well, of course. All us silver hairs up here. One for you, Godlac. I would say rest easy, but... From that journal, it seems... Percy may already have him. He stayed Being back. moonborn is not so much of a curse as you might think, Vilkas. That's fine for you. But he wanted to be clean. He wanted to meet Iskramor and know the glories of Sovngarde. But all that was taken from him. And you avenged him? Godlak did not care for vengeance. No, Farkas, he didn't. And that's not what this is about. We should be honoring Godlak, no matter our own thoughts on the blood. 
You're right. It's what he wanted, and he deserved to have it. Godlack used to speak of a way to cleanse his soul, even in death. You know the legends of the tomb of Iskramor. There, the souls of the Harbingers will heed the call of Northern Steel. We can't even enter the tomb without Uthrad. And it's in pieces, like it has been for a thousand years. And dragons were just stories, and elves once ruled Skyrim. Just because something is, doesn't mean it must be. The blade is a weapon, a tool. Tools are meant to be broken, and repaired. Is that... Did you repair the blade? This is the first time I've had all the pieces, thanks to our shield sister here. The flames of a hero can be forged to shatter. The flames of Kodlak shall fuel the rebirth of Uthrad, and now it will take you to meet him once more. As the wow. one who bore the fragments, I think you should be the one to carry Uthrad into battle. What do you mean the rest the battle? of you, prepare to journey to the tomb of Ysgrimor, for Kodlak. Oh, good. Well, that was abrupt. They want me to carry Wuth, are they? Look at you. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's not exactly my halberd. I think I prefer the reach on it, but. It's something for sure. There's a way to cleanse a soul even in death. Something about northern steel. I don't know. All I know is it's the middle of the night and I have no idea where Iskramor's tomb is. Ish. It works fast. I'd rather not. Well, I guess... I guess what I'm going to do... Is get some sleep. That was a long day. Get some sleep and then head out. While I figure out where the tomb of Iskramor is. Probably isn't even that late, but <laughs> they're lording it over us all the time, though. Ooh. Young warrior. Good morning. I'm still trying to figure out why Skior let you in in the first place. I'm carrying Wuthrat, and you have to ask. I was the newest companion until you came along. I guess that's okay. Just means I can show you the ropes. <laughs> I have not been paying attention. But I suppose that's par for the course, isn't it? Old people always tend to be... I don't know. Absorbed in whatever they're doing. Seems like... And then you get older and you start thinking about things like... What am I going to do? Well, that was... some timing. What about tomorrow? That is... That's exactly right. Yes. What can I do for you? Get out of my way? What am I going to do about tomorrow? I hope Hela's doing okay, speaking of tomorrow. I suspect she is. She comes from good stock, I suppose. If Codlack has anything to say about it. I don't think I've ever been more grateful that the beast blood didn't skip a generation. 
Although, I'm not sure if any, if any of them would have hidden it from me if it did. Didn't consider that before. I didn't really tell many stories about, you know, Ulfregni. I think his father knew, though. With a name like that. Where did I put my horse? I wonder if she ran off when that dragon came through. I would hope not. There she is. Well. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about the beast's blood with more good. What are you doing all the way over here, you silly horse? Come on, then. Ish. The wandering off. Ah, that's a lot nicer than trying to walk the whole way. I just have this feeling. I'll never forget how happy my father was when it turned out I didn't have the beast's blood. Little did he know... I'd grow up and find a way anyway. Whatever happened to that werewolf bear, whatever it was. Right, I don't even know if I'm going in the right direction. I think the quickest way through is going to be through the pass that's up there. I know it's north, generally speaking. Giant camps, as far as the eye can see. I hope for Codlac's sake that this uh, this cure actually works. No, I'm not going to waste Ruth Rad on a bear, even a white one. Don't even think about it, you. I hope for Codlac's sake that that cure actually works. Because A, I don't want to have been riding around with witch heads in bags this whole- Trust me, you don't even want to try. Thief. I mean, unless he really wants to get the hand on some witch heads.
I feel lost again. It's a strange thing to notice. When I was in Falskar, I had the purpose almost the entire time. When I came back and, you know, just... I had the purpose again because of Ayala and the companions. And right now I have a purpose, of course, but... What's next? What comes after this? What happens if this thing works and somehow I end up... That's interesting. Good luck. Yeesh. Not helping with that one. They're on their own. If I can somehow posthumously... There's a word. <laughs> There's a lot there word. Posthumously cure Codlack. That's not a way that we can go. What then? I have... What? Four or five heads in here? Five? That's enough for all of the circle, I think. Fargus, Vilkus, Giela, myself. And then, of course, I would need one for Codlac, so... I don't usually think of myself as a breaker of curses, but... Well, maybe that's what I'm doing. Which raises the question that I've been avoiding this whole time. What the? That's not the question, but what the? There's just a mammoth in the ice. Sure. I suppose that makes sense. Why not? It's Skyrim. Skyrim is a strange place. I say, coming from Solstheim, which by all counts is an even stranger place. One that I kind of miss, actually. Am I homesick? Is this what this is? Am I just homesick? Uh, bear. Don't do it. Well, there's a shrine of Talos. I don't think that's where I'm going, though. I'm not entirely sure where I'm going. Whew. Carefully you don't snap something from there. Actually, maybe that is where I'm going. There's something up there. Careful. That's not it, is it? May well be. Can a horse walk over the ice? I feel bad leaving you here, Grimnir, but... I don't know, perhaps the horkers will protect you. Should be fine. Be a good horse, okay? Don't wander off. Good boy. I'm avoiding the question again. Would I cure myself? I mean, it hasn't really been that big of a problem, but... A 
I don't know, the way that... Cloud like talks about getting dragged into the hunting grounds. I'm not sure if I want to find out what that's like. If I die in battle, I suppose I'll find out, won't I? <sighs> I never really thought about that before. I always assumed, you know, the Allmaker would take me back wherever souls go. Yep, that's just the place. Oh. This is the resting place of Iskramor and its most trusted generals. You should be cautious. Indeed. How do we get inside? Return Wuthra to Iskramor. It should open the way. Of course. And you're not coming with me. Kodlak was right. I let vengeance rule my heart. I regret nothing of what we did at Driftshade. But I can't go any further with my mind fogged or my heart grieved. Oh, well... I suppose that's a good point. And we need to be cautious because... Draugr, I assume? The original companions. Their finest warriors rest with Ysgramor. You'll have to prove yourselves to them. Oh, good. It's not that you're intruding. I'd wager they've actually expected us. They just want to be sure that you're worthy. Be ready for an honorable battle. Oh, good. Good day. Well, I came to Skyrim to fight. I suppose that's what I'm about to do, isn't it? There we go. This is going to be fun. You're coming with me? For Codlack. I suppose that answers that question. And what about you, Ayala? For Codlack. For Codlack. <laughs> 